to those who much is given, much is required. And if you work really hard and you're a really diligent person, make sure that you do some play to balance your life out. My friend, my mentor, my man, Bishop T.D. Jakes. If you play real hard, but you don't work very much, you're gonna be fun, but you're gonna be hungry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta balance work with play. You have to balance that with your children. You gotta enjoy the journey and the process. Like I told my kids the other day, I said, let me explain something to y'all. I'm gonna spend 85% of my income on me and your mama. Right. Yeah. Right. right. It right. is not what you leave to them that makes them great. It's what you leave in them. And if you leave enough in them, if you leave enough in them, you don't have to worry about what you leave to them. If you leave more to them than you leave in them, they will run through everything you left to them. Yeah. But if you leave enough in them, you don't have to leave so much to them because they can go out there and make their own way in life. Life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you wouldn't need faith. Mm. Faith functions best when you don't know. Mm. So God often puts us in positions where we don't know to destabilize us from think, relying too much on what we know. Yeah. And if you knew everything, you'd have no room for faith, for discovery, mm. for innovation, because creativity comes in uncertainty. Yeah. It comes in uncertainty, in the middle of chaos, because after a while, anytime you know too much, you stop living your best self. Mm. You, 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 can yeah. anybody relate to that? You would never discover what else you were if you stayed in one place. Mm. People torment themselves by how they see their life. They've told themselves a story as if it were the truth when it is really a perspective truth. And sometimes you've narrated a story that you beat yourself to death with. Challenge your own story. Change the way you talk to yourself about who you are and what happened to you and what you're gonna do in your life. You, you wrote the script, change the story. If you can give up the story you told yourself, you can reframe everything about your life. But it is the way we process what we've been through. And we, we use it as a death sentence. In the book, I talk about the difference between being buried and being planted. To the observer, <laughs> it looks like the same thing. But the dead are buried, the seeds are planted. Mm. And you can either say, this is gonna bury me, or something is gonna come out of this that's gonna resurrect me better than I was before. Wow, yeah, yeah. You counsel me, man. Mm. Y'all done sitting in your office with somebody. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been through the fire and the cool. blood. Cool, and Lord. The blood. <laughs> cool, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I left that counseling meeting, man. I went, wow, was you listening? <laughs> you have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. Your kids are not going to make you happy. Your spouse is not going to make you happy. A big house is not going to make you happy. Own your own happiness and be responsible for doing those things that bring joy into your own heart, independently of life and people and money and all of that stuff. Right. It doesn't necessarily give you a happiness. You have to take responsibility of that peace and that joy that lives inside of your heart and not inside of your stuff. Wow. My daughter came to me, she was 13 years old when she told me she was pregnant. And I thought I would just, just, it was just too much. That same daughter at the lowest moment that looked like her whole life had been shattered by the circumstances she was in, made a complete turnaround. She's now pastoring, she's speaking all over the world. She's writing books. <laughs> to be honest, people are not calling me anymore, they're calling her. <laughs> and what I'm really trying to say in the book, it, it doesn't matter where you start, it matters where you finish. Make relationships count. Making your relationships count because everything is about relationships. Your, first of all, your relationship with God. Your, your, that's a very important thing to have because as long as you know that there's somebody in charge, you don't have to bear the brunt of the responsibility and the weight of what's going on in your life. Yeah. You can talk to the boss, okay? Yeah. Number two, enjoy your relationship with yourself. If you don't like you, it makes it hard for me to like <laughs> you. Nature teaches us that there is no fruit without relationships. You cannot be fruitful by yourself in business, in home, Nothing. in life, in church. I don't care what it is. You are no more than the relationships you surround yourself with and make sure that those are good ones. The things that drive you to be successful, that make you work harder, that make you study harder, that make you do more than other people do are often rooted in what you are running from, not what you are running to. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. 
A lot of us delay our happiness. When I get to this level, when I get my degree, when I get the kids, when I get married, I'm going to be happy. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the whole step, the whole process. Every day that you get up to strive for whatever it is you're after. You know I'm a goal-oriented guy. Yeah, absolutely. But you don't celebrate when you get to the finish line. Celebrate all along the way. Celebrate yeah. all along the way. Yeah, man. Haters feel like it's not fair for you to have all the good times while I go through all the bad times. But the reality is we go through bad times too. Come on, we man. go through heartache too. Right. We go through disappointment. We feel bad. We get depressed. We want to give up. We want to walk away. But there's something down inside of you that keeps pushing you. I feel like I'm in church for a minute. You better set me down. <laughs> you better set me down because I set it off in here. Yeah. I set it off in here. Set right it now. off in here. I set it off. My man, I love you. Love you, brother.